What have you really learned from our hearts? What does this Greek identity I carry around with me stands for? Am I the new beginner? What is it that I stand for? Who do I speak of? Inevitably, tradition occurs as a matter of conflict.
city. and saying what we have learned from Athens so far. And let's please not interrupt each other so that everyone has a chance to speak. We can continue in this set. To come down. come down and be much more aware of myself. I don't know so much, I just arrived. <laughs> What hospitality? Mm. The kind of hospitality um, that makes you feel part of a family. Do you feel part of a family? Right now or in general? Here. Um, for or in a situation, I felt like being part of a family. When I arrived yesterday, um, I was welcomed by um, grandparents of uh, a friend of my parents and. They were really, um, they were really kind and open, and although I, we couldn't really communicate, and that made me feel um, welcome. Where are you from? What? Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Where do you stay? I stay in Attiki. Where are you in Germany? Oh, I live in Hamburg. Okay. And if I came in Hamburg, how would your grandparents treat me? Mm, I have two grandparents, so I think it would be different. But they would both treat you well and um, if I would say to them that you could stay there, they would um, 
prepare you some food and would talk to you. So what's the difference? Mm. The difference is just I think that um, I didn't I didn't feel that before. It's not about relational how my grandparents would be doing it or how how it is how they're doing it here. my turn now. sure about it a second later <laughs> but maybe not maybe I also learn not to make it uh, the question is what learn from partners
just want to comment, it feels very harsh environment here with the camera and everything and it feels very uncomfortable and I just want to bring it out and say it. Um, and I don't feel very welcome, I don't feel very um, unsafe environment, I would say. Is anyone a doctor here? What? Is anyone a doctor? No. I have this very weird image. I'm trying to learn not to be too serious. <laughs> Too serious is not too serious. Where are you from? Athens. Can you do something ridiculous? No. This is a moment. Why? I'm still bound to my prejudice. What kind of prejudice? And all sorts of prejudice. Like what? I'm trying not to be serious, but they can't get away. I'm still serious. <laughs> Will we help? Okay.
Too serious. <laughs> You're not trying at all. My smug face. Don't you like it? You said you uh, want me to try and learn not to be so serious. Are you talking to me? Yes. I can't see. But you, you said that you are learning not to mock yourself. Who, me? I don't know. I've lived in Athens all my life, so. Self-destruction. What do you study? Nothing. I'm not studying. What do you do? I work. Where? Clown? Hmm? You work as a clown? No. <laughs> yeah, I studied. I finished studies. Now I'm trying to work. I'm working in theatre. Are you an actor? No. What are you doing? Assisting, directing. No. Yeah, it's too okay. serious, isn't it? No, no it's not. It's okay. Okay. Um, several theatres here in Athens. Why can't you dance? You know these steps and the moment when you uh, uh, when Kota was just too and like left and right is always a problem. What about you? What what you have learned from Rafael? What I've learned. Yeah. Um, I'm not so sure. I have I've learned a lot of things, but I don't know if it's due to Athens or I think it's due to the people that I met, and they're not all from Athens, so I don't know. I don't even really know. I learned that I don't even really know what Athens is, actually. That's, that's what it is. Athens is a city. It's a city, yeah, but what's a city? A city is a poem. A poem, a poem is a city. A poem is a city. I didn't know that, thank you. Now I learned it. <clears throat> I'm still thinking about it, to be honest. Where are you from? From Germany, from Berlin.
English is not very good, so I think, uh, I guess I, <laughs> I'm learning English in ethics. <laughs> you can speak Chinese. Yes. Yeah. I use uh, um, I'm not sure. I I, I am uh, on a vacation or on a, um, on a, I'm doing a job here because I'm a journalist. I I came here for maybe a month or <coughs> more than a month and I just go somewhere. But um, I don't know. I, I, I think there's something that um, I think maybe just like life, life just like a odyssey or something like that. You, you think you are looking We're for something? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, maybe I'm, I'm just uh, still thinking about or looking for something I not really know what it is. Just um, like um, on Odyssey or what? You, you are want to go to somewhere, but maybe you are just wandering or just, um, I don't know, just I came here and I, I'm not really sure what I am looking for, but... Do you know what's going on here? Documenta. I don't agree with the conceptual ideas. I feel like an animal in a zoo, yes. being asked and filmed, and um, not feeling welcomed like I do outside this performance. But thank you for the experience. It seems to me I don't like the concept. And what is the concept? I don't want to say anything about my personal attitude or something like this, and um, therefore I want to leave it all to. What is the concept? Um, the concept is to force um, uh, someone to tell you something and I think maybe I don't want to. Don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave. Please don't leave! No, no. Um, these are my colleagues, so I have to join them. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I was trying to prove the point that I found this whole thing a bit too serious. You know, the way I saw you guys dance, dancing with all this intensity, but trying to maintain a very serious face. But did you read um, what it is about? No. Like, maybe you should do it before you leave then. Because maybe it could be good to have a discussion about what is actually going on here and what maybe. is the concept. And um, sure. I feel it. Would you like to read it? I don't really have a Do you want to? Like, shall we read it together? Yeah, let's. Look, <clears throat> the audience is your instrument. Play mm -hmm. it in order to participate, uh, to participate. practically understand how we are generally instrumentalized. Instrumentalized. Oh God. You can read it even better than me. Prepare. Did anyone read this? Yeah, I didn't. Prepare the audience with concepts, questions, and movements as a way to explore the dissonance that exists between the individual narcissism that capitalism promotes, and our social, social capacity, capacity, between how, and we, how we consider ourselves as free individuals with agency. The way we are socially determined, determined by capitalist, by capitalist relationships, relationships, technology, technology ideology, ideology, reflect on the I slash we relationship while defining social dissonance. Help the collective subject to emerge. Emerge. <coughs> emerge. Okay, now we are a collective subject. No, we are going to. We're not collective, we are We are the Maybe, 
Why still it doesn't make sense? Maybe I should have stayed. Sorry? It doesn't make still sense. The, you mean having read the concept? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Would you like to give us your interpretation? I don't understand the sentence. Are you going to let the collective subject emerge? Are you also helping the collective subject to emerge? Yeah, <laughs> Because I think... What concept of objective... Collective subjectivity do you have? Do we all have to sit in a circle and say, Oh, I love you, um, or... or it, it, we, it's already there. Mm -hmm. So... Where? That's why... Here! That's why, that's why I'm, I'm Let's little, find it. I'm a little bored, to be, I mean, to be honest. I mean, when we danced together, I thought it was um, actually a good thing to get a feeling for each other or come together somehow, but after that I feel a bit like everyone's um, got charged by you, and so I don't know how you feel if someone just... Make See, this with your trouser and no one thing. is saying something. For me it's a bit like, mm. okay, this is an art space, but we don't have to do everything. No. And it's yeah, a bit and I felt a bit like yeah. that because I didn't know if you want my help or... Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's a miserable thing that, that, that we have to shout to someone, kiss, they kiss, yeah. and somehow they... Why do we have to do that here somehow? You know, is that some, some sort of substitute for, for the lives that we're living outside of this space? Are we meant to somehow let ourselves go in this space, mm -hmm. in the sense that we cannot do outside? And the question is what you want to talk about, I think. I mean, it's very interesting that you ask us in a certain way. But then it seems a bit like you, as the the way you ask is like super much. Okay, you come probably from Germany or somewhere else, and it's like kind of. I mean, we all know there's somehow a, like strong tension of coming here, and that's some kind of a move. And it's a super good question to ask: to why do we make the move? But then I feel like from the beginning on that you have your like there's some moral thing in it, and. That's a, I don't know, that's something that makes it, I don't know, I think it's not free the way you ask the question or something like that. And that then, yeah, then the rest of the thing is, it's super interesting to, to like play with this uncomfortability. But then it's just a question like, I don't know, where to lead it to, I don't know. I think it's a bit complicated the way you ask the question because I found the first experience interesting that we did this dance together but then I think we would have had a better conversation if the question wouldn't be in this words from the title of the documentary because it seems like um, it's about exhibitioning us in a specific way that you already want to achieve. It's a bit like in the direction that you said. And maybe it would have been a different, a better or in, more interesting conversation or communication if it would be on another level, like on the level that we did the dance together. You know, because the, the dance was very direct and the question afterwards was really, um, I don't know. Um, Predictable somehow because it wasn't this words from the title of the document. But it's somehow um, what it makes in the predictable way what she already said. Do you know what I mean? But what would you like to create, or what kind of space would you like to create, or what do you want to achieve with this? It's like confronting. You come here, you are confronting us, and then. 
Like what now? Why are you doing this? <laughs> the question might be predictable, but do you have uh, so easy an answer? No, because there is not an easy answer. <laughs> It's much more about like <laughs> what's boring about that? <sighs> Everything. I just I think I have to leave this room because I'm bored. Sorry, I'm really bored. Yeah, but is that all you know about boring? Oh God, because it's so yeah, it's predictable on the one side. I mean, like, there are like 15 Germans here, and then you ask the Germans that know what the meaning, what what guilt means. Uh, how is it to learn from Athens? And uh, there's so many, and, and all this discussion are really boring me. I'm sorry. But no one is giving you here. Yeah, I'm not sorry. No, it's good. Because the question is if I could also kiss you outside, or if it's only here. Do you want to kiss me outside? Maybe. <laughs> You're alive. What is the difference between yeah. this space and the outside space? What does it change when you enter this door? We are not transmit directly. We are transmit CCTV and our phones. So it's much more passive. <laughs> So that's the difference. Outside, the big other is invisible. Here is visible, so something changes. Yeah, sure. I mean, what do you have Do you have any suggestions not to be boring? This thing here? It's interesting. Yeah. Good dance again. I find this interesting. We could make this cool massage thing. <laughs> did you really feel like comfortable coming here dancing? Like really did anyone put because me I felt like really uncomfortable at the feeling okay, it's like um, something's going on. People that are inviting us to have this like performance or be part of the performance are not really like welcoming us. I saw it in the way they look, the way they move. And we all been like a little bit like, no, 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 I cannot do it so much, but I try and I try to have fun and I want to be part and I'm like um, looking at each other and be like, um, try to be nice. But I thought from the beginning, like, it's not nice. And I was wondering, like, why are we like trying or like, what's the point of like, and why are you doing it then? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, but I, I know what you mean, but I think this is like, Coming here yes, from the beginning, or like this feeling as a. Um, you already felt like an intro. Can I ask you why does it happen? Why why it's important that it's working? Hmm? What? Why it's important that it's working? I, I don't know why. I mean, sure it feels nice, but. It's, it's, it's okay if it doesn't have to be walking or not. It's more of a question of do you personally want to participate? If you feel welcome or unwelcome, it affects how you respond. And yeah. You could this say it's bad. Something. I think maybe not everybody wants to say welcome, but more like they're not feeling respected. Sorry. No, I, don't yeah. actually. I have to leave because I'm bored. Sorry. No, I have to leave. I have to leave because I'm bored. Sorry. And it's not because of you. And it's because of what exactly? Can I ask your last question? Can I ask your last question? Yes, please. You can, you can ask them. Do you perform like that outside? I'm working on it. Okay. But not all the time, to be honest. And most of the time I'm quite shy and I think a lot about um, what to do, what to say, and how to move. Um, so I'm not the most secure person, but sometimes I can be very strong.
the way you described the dancing, as you said, it was like, okay, I don't know what exactly I want, I have to do, but I want to participate and I want to have fun, but I'm not feeling very well and I don't know exactly what to do. Actually, it's like describing life in Athens to me, so... <laughs> I guess, I guess this was very to the point, but yeah, actually, I don't know, uh, maybe we shouldn't have um, uh, called the conversation for so long, uh, maybe we should have changed pattern from some time, but actually, yeah, the, your ass didn't change the the way we talk, because then uh, you talk, uh, the, this girl that she's very confident was able to talk after you sewing your ass and so it just became a circle again. Maybe if somebody else was in her turn, maybe uh, the thing would change a little bit. But yeah, so many things, uh, I heard so many interesting things that, yeah, we, I don't know, somehow we think that we're learning from, I don't know, we're getting some things, but it's maybe an idea, an image we want to make for ourselves in order to, to feel that our trip is useful because everything, like everything, you know, we have to consume everything and even a trip must be useful and so it has to have some feedback on us and so we we make up things that i i think some people made up some things that they have learned for example i don't know hospitality but on the no, other hand but on the other hand uh, it's not i don't i don't know maybe i think it's not something that uh, there is only in greece or yeah history that you could learn even from home. I don't I know. But could I ask you what part of the dance is the feeling that you have living in Athens? Because you talk about it and I get that you're trying to portray how you're feeling to us by going through this performance. And like how could you explain that in real life? Like not just in here but like in in Athens because that's more maybe what you're trying to show us but it's hard for us to understand that if you're showing it to us is it hard to understand that you're not feeling welcome or um, you're you don't know exactly what to do when you live in a country that you know 50% of young people are unemployed it's is not it about, so hard to understand no it's not that it's sorry it's not so hard to understand it's more accepting that you understand it do you want to accept from someone shouting at you hurting you making you feel uncomfortable that what they're telling you is correct or do you want to reject it and human nature usually says the latter right you don't um, my mom, okay so i don't think that um we want to emphasize on all the social political problems in Greece right now. It is um, Athens is supposed by many people to be uh, New Berlin, and there is um, a strong criticism regarding this question: uh, What have we learned from Athens? Or what could we learn from Athens? Um, from many institu institutions, from many um, artists, uh, local press, uh, political um, uh, artists. Yeah. Um, so we would like, first of all, to hear what you have to say uh, since most of you are not Greeks. Um, I think because we have um, addressed the same question uh, some times ago, but um, not so direct. And I think it was it's a strong uh, issue itself. 
uh, to put on the table. Um, but I mean, uh, it's a bit, I think, it's a bit difficult because, okay, like Greece is in this crazy like, crisis and it has to do with like Germany, with like, like all the most powerful countries in Europe. And a lot yeah, of different it was yeah, not, matters, it was not right? but then we can again. also talk about doing this thing, you know, like everyone says his own his own vision of the world, and uh, the rest are uh, he trying to understand what's his vision of the world, and uh, this is the, the the dissonance that came up again. I think uh, apart from that, uh, we had some moves. Created some kind of alienation in the room, I think, and uh, strange uh, atmosphere, and uh, made people share a lot. And I think we're, we're still doing it. Mm. It's funny well, how when you're talking about learning from Athens, the first thing that comes to your mind is documenta. It's it, like it's be only only between Athens and Germany. The comment about I, I'm not learning from Athens because I live in Athens, but I am trying to learn from Documenta is somehow creating this uh, two poles between Athens and Germany. And I was kind of hoping if we could take it in a broader sense, but again, this makes it very apparent how this tension between these two poles uh, is created.